in the good feeling out the hood Feeling getting money like a real one should I'ma take a sip, get a little lit back in a bit Meditate, I think I should No, we ain't friends, got me on 10 now, obviously, there's a lot of rumors right now surrounding Mark Shifley, and there have been for a while. Like, this isn't new a story that's developed out of nowhere with the, uh, you know, Blake Wheeler departing and the Dubois trade. Like, Mark Shifley leaving Winnipeg has been a discussion point in the NHL community for a while, and it makes sense. You know, if you're a team trying to compete for a Stanley Cup and you want a legit first liner who's only making $6 million, well, 6.1, excuse me, then Mark Scheifele is the guy that you'd obviously be looking for because he's got so many great offensive skills. Now, does Mark Scheifele have holes in his game? Well, obviously, but I feel like even with that horrendous even strength defensive rating of 2%, I feel like teams would want him. And I feel like in that the Jets include themselves, obviously, in that team, uh, that category of people that want, you know, teams that want to acquire and keep, in fact, their case, Mark Scheifele. It makes sense. Why would you not want to give up a guy that's making an affordable contract, you know, you've first ever draft pick. The Winnipeg Jets are proud to select from the Barry Coats of the Ontario Hockey League, Mark Scheifele. You can't forget that. Like, this man has been around since Claude Noel, and the, he, this man was, was part of the announcement of the Winnipeg Jets' actual name in the return to Winnipeg way back when. Like, Mark Scheifele is a cornerstone of the foundation of what is the Winnipeg Jets since coming back uh, in 2011. Without a doubt, he's one of the most important players next to Blake Wheeler in this entire span of, of their history since relocation. So, it's obviously a tough topic to talk about because, you know, I'm not the biggest Mark Scheifele fan. At 29 years old, you know, I just... 30 years old, excuse me now. Uh, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want the Jets to keep him. Like, I obviously like Mark Scheifele, but my big thing comes down to the fact that it's not Mark Scheifele's a bad player, it's does he fit this window at this age? Obviously, Mark Scheifele's next contract is probably going to be about a five-year, I'd imagine. Probably take him maybe four, but I'd imagine five years is what he'd be probably looking for, maybe a little bit more, but that's t very term-heavy. What does that remind you of, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Blake Wheeler's last contract that he got. Uh, now, again, I just... I don't think it makes sense to go all in on Shifley and keep him around. I think even though if you want to stay competitive this year, as, as the Jets clearly do with the Velarde acquisition, with the Iofalo acquisition, with buying out Blake Wheeler, you know, they want to stay competitive. At the same time, Mark Shifley does not fit this retool window. He does not. By the time the Jets actually have their, you know, current core of prospects come through the system, Mark Shifley is going to be 33 years old. Is Mark Shifley at that point in his career with already the problems showing in the last three years? Is Mark Shifley really the guy that you want? And that's the whole point of this video and, and this conversation I've been having with myself pretty much all week is, is he worth keeping? Now, I talked about this in the last episode of the Prairie Puck Podcast, which again, if you haven't subscribed to the Prairie Puck Podcast and you're a Winnipeg Jets fan, then you are missing out. Link is in the description as always. Go check it out. The last episode, me, Jackson, and uh, Zach and Carter, obviously Zach and Carter from the Little Hockey Podcast, Jackson being from Jets Hub. I, we, we talked about this, and I brought this point up, the fact that I just don't know. Even though Shifley makes sense for trying to stay competitive, is he really worth keeping at that spot three years down the line when you have so many amazing forward prospects pushing the envelope right now, trying to push that glass ceiling, get a spot on the roster, and fight for an NHL opportunity? Is Mark Shifley really the guy that you want to keep around? And I, I look at this, look, I, I throw this over to the LA Kings. The LA Kings just re-signed Anze Kopitar. You have Quentin Byfield, who selected number two overall, just sitting there. You know, obviously he's going to be probably a winger now with how the depth is going with Mark Sh uh, with Pierre-Luc Dubois being acquired, Anze Kopitar re-signing for two years. Like, is that the way that you want the Jets to go with their player development? It's the exact same situation. The Jets find themselves in an interesting spot where they have so many young players coming up that they might be good really quickly, or they might be shit for a very long time. They don't know. We're at this limbo stage right now as fans, as is the organization. So if, you really, if it really comes down to keeping Mark Shifley long-term, re-signing him, and that's what they think the number one you know, option should be, if you can't trade him for good value, then I think you wait for the deadline and you still trade him. I do not think under any circumstances signing Mark Shifley to a contract extension is the right move for this club. Regardless of how you feel about Mark Shifley as the person, as the Winnipeg Jet, as the locker room teammate, whatever we've heard about the rumors, blah, blah, blah. I'm strictly talking about on-ice performance, 
and everything that comes with the contract and the long-term effects of having him on the books. Yes, his numbers are good. Yes, he just put up a 42-goal season, his highest goal total ever in the NHL going back to 2012. Excuse me, 2011. That's a record for him. 42 goals. Very, very good. 68 points. Career high in points is 70. I mean, excuse me, 82. So, very pretty good productive year, I would say, for Mark Scheifele at 30 years old. But I don't think that it makes sense for the rebuild and retool that they're doing, whatever you want to call it, to keep him around, to play his dick. Because at the end of the day, you're taking away an opportunity from a younger player that is going to potentially commit to this team in their prime long term, while Shifley will be at the end of his career. That is where I'm looking at it from, is that yes, Shifley is a good player, but I would rather have the Jets be good entirely as a team with no bad contracts three years down the line than have Mark Shifley be here for now, be okay for the next couple of years, but by the end of that contract, it looks like the Blake Wheeler situation. I do not want another buyout on the books. I don't want to buy out Mark Shifley. I, just, I, I, I don't think... That is the route that I want them to take. They've already done that with Blake Wheeler, and I'm not going to lie, it's tragic the way Blake Wheeler's career really ended in Winnipeg when you think about all he's done for the city, having him bought out like that. It sucks. I'm And I'm the biggest Blake Wheeler critic out there, I feel like, but at the same time, I did not like the fact that it was just, thanks, Blake, appreciate your years of service. I don't know, it just it didn't sit right with me. And again, I'm looking at this from the standpoint of where the Jets will be in a couple of years. You've got so many good players coming up, and I just don't think Mark Shifley fits that window. Mark Shifley is not going to be the needle pusher that gets us to the playoffs this year, because he's good, but he's not a, a ma the, 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 he's not the, you know what I mean? Like, he, I'm not going to say he's not a star, because he is, he's an all-star, like, the guy's great, but he's not going to really force this team into a wild card spot on his own, you know? And I know we have Kyle Connor, I know we have Nikolai Ehlers under contract, I know Josh Morris, he's here for basically his entire career. I know Connor Hellebuck gets a year left too, and it looks like we might be keeping him. At the same time, it just doesn't make sense, guys. Keeping Mark Shifley long-term, signing him an extension is just not the way to go. If you want to use him at the start of the year, you want to approach to the trade deadline and see how things go, that is fine. But you cannot re-sign Mark Shifley. Mark Shifley will not fit this rebuild window, in my opinion. I don't think by the time his contract is really kicked in and we get a couple years into it, that it'll be a good contract, especially coming off of a 42-year goal season where he's going to be looking for an extension or a trade. I think you let another team overpay and you go with the guys in the cabinet you already have. You go with the prospects, you do the exact same thing you did with Mark Scheifele back in the day, and you develop. The Jets have been d drafting extremely well the last few years, regardless of all the criticism I've put directly at Connor, uh, Kevin Shevel Dayoff and ownership as of late. The drafts have been great in my opinion. Like, even my initial reactions might be, oh, I, I'm angry, but the more I look into it, the hours after, minutes after, the more I'm happier with the picks. And then watching these guys, watching them interact with fans right now at the camp, their composure, their attitude, the future is so bright in Winnipeg right now that it just doesn't make sense to commit to Mark Shifley. He's had his time, and you gotta love it. You know, I, I, I'd love it if he was a career Jet guy, but at the end of the day, I don't want another Blake Wheeler situation, because Blake Wheeler wasn't a career Jet. He played on multiple other teams, and at the end of the day, Mark Scheifele is a, is a good hockey player, a great hockey player, but committing to him as this franchise cornerstone, I don't think is the right bet. He's been here for so long, he's had so many good years, and been here for so many amazing runs. I can't forget the 14 goals in 17 games back in 2017-18 in the playoff run. Like, my god, the guy was insane back then. All I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, is at the end of the day, I don't think Mark Scheifele is the answer for the Jets. And I don't think keeping him around is the best decision. And I've been thinking about how to how to get these thoughts out for a while, and I feel like this is the best I'm going to do. So, I, I I'm I love you, Mark. Thanks for the good years, but you know I feel like any team out there that's competitive would want to trade for Mark Scheifele, well, except for the Montreal Canadiens. But we're gonna let that slide. It'll all be over.